Hey, what's up? It's Lance Comp Help, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Fallout 3 mods. The programs you'll be needing are WinRAR or 7-Zip or WinZip. I recommend having both WinRAR and 7-Zip because some of the files on this website are 7-Zip while others are um, WinRAR. None of them are WinZip files, just if you want to know. So you need to download those programs. They'll be in my description. Then you'll need um, FOMM right here, which will be in the description also. It's Fallout 3 Mod Manager. It looks like this when you open it. It won't. It'll only have Fallout 3 e ESM when you open it. These are all the other mods I had. So um, to download both of those, you just go in the description. Then you want to go to this website. Fallout3nexus.com. That'll be in the description also. Then down here, you want to click Browse Categories or search for a file. So I like these. Um, this G36 mod I found earlier this morning. It wasn't working, but hopefully it'll be working now. This one right here. If you want to download this one, download this one. I'll put a link in the description. So you just click the go to Files, then download it. For the ones like this, you'll need to make an account, which is free. It's just, this means it's bigger than 500 megabytes, so you'll need to click the normal servers, or if you paid for premium, you'll click premium. You want to click that. If if it has it, if not, then it usually just pops up in download file. Then don't exit off of this yet. When it pops up like this, you want to click open. It'll open it with WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever. This is a RAR file, so it'll open it with WinRAR. So open it. I'm gonna pause it for the sake of time, just cause um don't want this to take forever. All right, so yeah, as you can see, the mod is done, and I'm just gonna um make it this a little bigger so you can see it. And also on the website, you might want to check the um images and whatnot. That'll tell you sometimes it'll show you a location like this one. It shows you the location location of this um the quest and whatnot. So as you can see right there, check out the images and check out the description. Usually if you're downloading a weapon, it'll be in a different spot than you want it to be. So you'll have to check that out. Um, you know, just, yeah, check out the comments too. So check out the description, comments, images, see where it is. Just help you out. Then you can exit off the website. And when you open your WinRAR, sometimes it'll say data or sometimes it'll look like that. Um, usually it will look like this, but sometimes if it's a bigger file, it'll just say data. Double click on data. Then you want to click on the ESP file, and then hold shift, and then pick the texture, sound, and message, mess, meshes. And if it, if it doesn't have sound or textures, and you know, just click all the ones besides the two dots. Then go to start, computer, CU drive, um, program files. Bethesda Softworks Fallout 3 data. This is a lot. Um, then you want to drag the files over there. Just drag them in there. This one might take a while as it's a very, very big file. You want to click do this for all conflicts, then move and replace. And do this for all current items, and yes. And continue. And this will take a while or or not but once you got this where it looks you put your mod in your data folder exit out of your data folder exit out of your WinRAR folder go to your FOMM which you downloaded from my description open it then you should see your mod in there which mine is right there it's already um it's already activated you want to check so normally it'll look like this Nothing will be checked. Nothing will, well, nothing will be there. But it'll just, everything will be unchecked. So you want to check the mods that you want if you download it anymore. Some of these, um, crashes the game. So if you experience game crashes, just, um, you know, just, um, uncheck them and stuff. Maybe you can delete them. I'll have a video on deleting them. But yeah, just check it. Click launch Fallout. And then I'll switch to Fraps for the rest of the video showing that showing you that this actually worked and um yeah